Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, obviously, is going to be a six to nine month baby must-have list. Um, I've done one for newborns, I've done one from three to six months, and now I'm gonna do a six to nine months. My daughter is now 10 months, and I've compiled some of the things that I feel like, um, you know, were must-haves and some of our favorite things from the ages from six months all the way up through nine months. Um, I do have a cold going on right now, so I sound a little mousy and hoarse, and we're gonna push through it because I wanted to get this video up. So give the video a thumbs up if you find these videos helpful. I know I always like to look ahead to see what my baby's gonna be into. Um, possibly, I know every baby's different, we always say that. Um, but yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you like these videos and they're helpful to you. Leave me some of your baby's favorites in the comments below if you've already experienced some of them, um, some of these ages, and let's just jump into it. One thing I will mention before I do this is I will link the other video, my previous videos on these must-haves um, below in the description box, as well as if you guys go on Amazon, they've recently done an influencer um, page type of thing. So I have an influencer page where um, I think it's like, I'll just list it or link it um, down below, but it's Trey Shake Mama. And I basically have compiled all of my previous must-haves and things that I haven't mentioned in the must-have videos that Sydney's obsessed with. Um, and it's all shoppable, so if you ever like see a snap or something of toys or whatever it may be, um, check out that page because I list and linked everything there. Um, and it's just like, one kind of a one-stop shop if you want to know like hey what's that jumper or where'd you get that it's all on the Amazon page so that's shoppable um, if you're interested in that but okay so around six months um, is when Sydney like really really she didn't get her first tooth until very recently but around six months is when she started getting like super super drooly so I invested in bandana bibs galore these ones are from copper pearl you guys are actually the ones who let me know about copper pearl and suggested them to me um, and I love them they're super soft and cottony they have like a fleece backing and um, they don't soak through very easily. And this one, I got like the Bloom set and this one's one of my favorites. They're absolutely gorgeous. And they have all kinds of other products, but I just love bandana bibs for the drooly phases and teething phases because otherwise her outfit would be soaked in five minutes flat. And I think I mentioned this in my last must have video. Um, Sydney was unswaddled as of five months, but we are still wearing the wearable blankets. Um, I guess they're not supposed to. Okay, this is like to each their own, whatever. The recommendation is not until they're over a year to have them on with a comforter or a blanket. And I know moms who've done it sooner. I know moms who wait, like it's okay. Um, but for right now, Sydney and I are just, um, we're doing the wearable blankets and she loves them, they're fleece. The ones that I have are from Carter's, they're Carter's brand. I get questions a lot about them. And some of you guys have mentioned that you cannot get Carter's brand stuff, which I did not know because you're from the UK or whatnot. Um, I think Halo has some. I'll try to find some, um, put some on Amazon and um, find some and link some below. But Halo, like just Google wearable blanket um, and that is what she sleeps in for all naps and all bedtime as well as a foot of pajamas for bedtime. Um, and she loves it. It's like an instant trigger. She knows, okay, nap time or sleep time. And it's just, you know, keeps me at peace of mind and feeling like, okay, she's safe and warm at the same time. Between six and nine months is really when they're going to start to enjoy foods and explore foods. And they're going to grow from like baby cereal at four or five months all the way up to like eating table foods almost at nine months. So one of these, they're called the pacifier feeders. I don't, I mean, it's clean, but it's like foggy, so I don't know. Um, and I'm, this one's the Munchkin brand. So basically it pops open and you can put pureed foods or frozen fruits, vegetables, whatever you want in there. And they just chomp on it and suck on it and get whatever, um, food you put in there. I used to put like a little bit of yogurt in the beginning. I don't think I gave her yogurt until about seven months, but I used to put a little yogurt in here, some pureed foods. Um, I never did the solid or frozen foods because I had a mesh feeder for that, but we only used that a couple of times for feedings, but this one we used a lot in the beginning of solid. Whenever she sees me eating, she wants what I have, so I like give her this to occupy herself with. It doesn't hold a lot of food, but in the beginning, it's just a little munchy. Okay, so while we're on the subject of food, um, 
these like wafer wafer teething wafers i think they're called i don't know this one's called rice rice rusk it's um they're basically teething wafers we've tried the happy baby brand and these ones she likes them both the same i'm gonna give her one right now um and it's really good to get them started i don't think i started her on them until she was like ugh eight, nine months. So that's kind of later in the game. For me, I'm, I'm still a little paranoid about it. They dissolve pretty well right in their mouths. And, um, I don't, I don't really allow her to control how much she gets. I'll either break it into pieces or I'll give it to her and then just monitor her the whole time because she will shove the whole thing in her mouth and choke. So I get really nervous about that. I'm going to give her one right now, but this is just what they look like. Um, and they're just, um, simple to like chew on and just have fun with. They do make a really big mess though, like they're sticky and they kind of go everywhere. So if you're traveling, it's not the best like, thing to just give them. And then the next must have I have are sippy cups. Uh, we've tried a couple of different ones. These are the Nubby brand. And at first we introduced, I think I introduced a sippy cup around six months, um, but she didn't really get the concept of it until like the nine month time frame kind of thing like she would chomp on it and chew on it once in a while she would get a big gulp um but then like spit the water out so she really wasn't interested in water until like nine ten months anyway but um they do say you know i think you can introduce it as like early as four months but we introduced a sippy cup at six months and this brand has worked really well for us i do have the miracle cup the miracle 360 one from munchkin she doesn't really grasp the concept of that one yet um maybe maybe in the future but yeah a sippy cup for sure with water because you're supposed to i think you can do water from six months on i don't know something like that but she really didn't like drink water until recently um, over the last couple of months. So I would say eight, nine months and it's just a couple of ounces and it's something to like help them wash their meals down with and their foods down with and it's fun too. And then it helps her kind of learn to hold her own cup and she does hold it really well. She doesn't tip it up when she's dropping it and bouncing it off things. It doesn't spill. Sticking with the food, um, I'm going to say a high chair is a must have. I didn't have a high chair in the beginning of her food stages. I just had the bumbo seat which was like a super super must have in the beginning um i would say the bumbo seat is a must have um if you're like you have a small apartment or house or anything like that and where you're traveling um a bumbo seat is amazing and hers had the tray and that's where she ate her her meals or her snacks and then also played with the tray and then i um for thanksgiving brought the bumbo seat because they didn't have a high chair i knew at my family's um so i brought the bumbo seat for her to sit in and eat and play so a bumbo oh bless you a bumbo seat i think is definitely a must um and they're not even they're not too expensive but totally worth it and now now that she's eating her three solid meals a day um a high chair 100 percent is a must for me i will like insert a clip of mine i can't even remember i think it's a Graco brand, um, Graco, Graco, whatever. And that one's very washable. It's got like leather on the sides and then the material for like the baby rest head seat is very washable. It's, I'll just wipe it with a washcloth and water and it comes right out. I mean, it does have the harness and it has, of course, the tray. Um, and then the top of the tray lifts off so you can just wash that. It doesn't make a huge mess and it adds on wheels, um, but it does fold up. And then also it kind of helps occupy her in the kitchen if I'm cooking or doing something. I'll just plop her in there with a toy and um, or food and whatever. And she can just play in the high chair and kind of get used to being in there with mom. Oh my god, you guys, my child is obsessed with books. Right now I'm holding this and she's freaking out. This one is a touch and feel book and I have the Halloween one. Um, and it has like textured... I know you want mama to read a book. It has like textured pages. This is a fluffy beard and it's simple and it's beautiful like pictures for her to look at. But um, any like hard, hard cardboard books she's obsessed with. So at this stage, they're enjoying music and lights and sounds and things that move. So her favorite toys are she's got like the three bongo drums that light up and play music. She's got the train that like pop up hiding train. Um, I'm going to link and then like insert clips of her playing with these toys. 
Um, but anything with like music and lights um, really, really stimulates them between six and nine months. If you don't have a video monitor, I would suggest definitely getting a video monitor now. Um, Sydney was transitioned to her crib around seven months. She would have been a little bit earlier, but I had to get this wall put in. Um, so Sydney was in her crib around seven months. And if I did not have a video monitor, I would be sleeping in the nursery with her right next to her on the floor because I would not be able to survive. They actually make video monitors fairly inexpensive. I get questions about mine a lot. I will link it below. Mine's a Levana. Vanna, however you pronounce it, and um, I like it. It's not like super high end, but it's not super crappy quality either. So I will list mine in the description box below. Um, they have like the raincoat material. I don't even know what it's called, the raincoat material bibs. Um, I have one from Carter's, and that one's a must have. Every it just wipes right clean. Um, I'm getting silicone bibs for her for Christmas soon. I'm sure those are must haves, but she's tiny, so they wouldn't really fit her yet. But any like bib that is washable, wipeable, her number one toy, I don't know why I didn't even like think of this first, her number one toy, as you guys know, if you've ever seen any snap or video of mine ever, is her jumperoo. And guys, it was something that I wasn't even going to get because I already had an extra saucer and I'm like, does she really need it? I don't know. I randomly saw one and thought like, I just have to get it and it was the best investment I've ever made she absolutely goes nuts in it bouncing all the time it has music and lights on one side it has like like clicky things and spinny things she's obsessed with jumping so guys I mean if you can afford it I know it's expensive a jumper is 100% worth it in my opinion and food pouches have been a lifesaver for me if you're on the go or traveling um, I, you know, the, the food schedule and the feeding and the nursing or the bottle, like whatever you do, it's, it's really hard to like confine yourself to home because the baby has to eat. Once she was 100% okay with feeding from a spoon, um, that's very important that you don't introduce pouches first. Um, they should be able to eat from a spoon for a while. So I don't think I gave a pouch till she was like eight months ish, seven, eight months, something like that. Um, I also would say at this age, um, a stroller is a must. I don't use my carrier quite as much. I mean, I still put her on me. Um, a carrier is more so, I think, when she was a little younger. So a stroller is a must if you're going to be taking them anywhere. I have um, the click and connect or something like that. Click and connect one so her car seat just clicks right in there or she just goes right in the front now that she's getting bigger. Um, so 100% a stroller if you're going to be taking your baby anywhere. Yeah, so I think... Those are all of my must-haves for six to nine months. Give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or if you agree on some of these must-haves. Um, let me know again in the description, in the comments below what some of your baby's must-haves so that we can help out other mothers um, and whoever else may be looking into this video, like presents to buy for little ones. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, of course, um, and follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, all of the above, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Mwah.